All right, guys, uh, it's early in the morning, and uh, me and Braden right here running traps. And uh, nice foggy morning, real cool and crisp. There's still snow on the ground from uh, about a few days ago. Snowed pretty good, but uh, anyways, right here running traps. We're about to come up on our first traps, so uh, we'll get back to you. There's a pond right here, and we put two or three traps on um, on it. And just right over the pond bank, uh, my uncle's been feeding a lot, and he had a trail camera out, and he's been seeing a bunch of coons, so um, we thought we'd catch them, and we sure did. Pretty big one. Alright guys, uh, right here, same pond, right behind us, and uh, we had this, this dog proof on a real small drag, and so he drugged this sucker way up here and got caught up in this fence, but uh, it's another coon, like I said, it's up the same pond, uh, it's kind of red, he's pretty, he's another big one too, but anyways, we'll get him dispatched, and uh, we got a few more to check, so. We'll get back to you guys later. Well, it's another cold, frozen early mo uh, morning at my uncle's. And he has, he's got a tree stand right here. And he's been putting out corn. And he's got a lot of coons here too. And we caught one of them. We have two out in this brush pile. He looks like a pretty heavy coon. That's good. This is just our first trap to uh, check, so hopefully we'll have more over here. So, wish you luck. guys uh, we're back out here at the same tree stand we got the coon on yesterday same brush pile same set and we got another coon right here he's another nice pretty coon a darker coon and uh, there must be a little family living in this brush pile that's what we were told so nice coon today so, it's our first, first check of the day. Maybe we'll have some more luck on our other ones. So, we'll, we'll keep you updated. Well, um, down here on this fence line, um, my uncle told me that coyotes like to cross. And so, me and Grant, we put a snare. We hung a snare. And we got a hip catch on this coyote. What we did was... Put the snare right there. You see that, that dirt? spot right there that's where we put the snare after they've been crossing and he's over here caught up in the fence pretty coyote but we caught him on the hip but this this is our first time we've ever caught a coyote on a snare yep But hopefully, we got one more snare down there, so hopefully we got something. But, I'm happy with this. Guys, uh, we're out here at this brush pile. And uh, it's our third night we've had sets here, and it's our third coon. We've caught three coons here, and uh, that's what the, the owner of this property told us. He said there's, there's three coons coming out of this brush pile, and, there they are. This one's a little baby. Uh, I'll let him get a closer look for you. It's a little baby, but you know, a hide's a hide, I guess. So, it's our second coon of the day. Uh, but we got seven more traps to check, so we'll get back to you. Okay, guys, uh, we're out here across the road from where we've been staying, and uh, a couple guys have been telling us that they got five big old coon on trail camera and uh, we got a feed uh, feed pile right here, deer. And uh, sure enough, this morning we got a nice black coon. There's a closer look at him. He's nice and black.
Well, just got the three coons we caught this morning skinned out. We're trying to get everything wrapped up because we're going to leave here pretty soon. But uh, here's the house we've been staying in. Just an old house and got a little wood stove keeping us, storm in, uh, keeping us warm in there. But bring you out here to all the furs. I'd say it's a pretty good end of the season. Of course, season's about another month long, month and a half long, but we might do a little bit more trapping, but we've got to got to start getting ready for the sale in February. But that's a good end of the season right there. Seven coons and a coyote. Lots of memories made and had a really good time doing it. So, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun. But, anyways, we're going to get packed up. So, uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.